I'd like to call to get my order the fourth regular meeting of the 2019 Common Council. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Awareness is the greatest agent for change. Thank you very much. Uh, today, firefighters from across the state of Wisconsin traveled to Appleton for the funeral and visitation and to support the family of firefighter Mitchell Lungard, who was shot and killed while responding to an EMS call at the transit station in Appleton. Please stand and join me in a moment of silence to honor firefighter Mitchell Lungard. Would the clerk please call the roll? There are 10 present. Next, uh, please stand again for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next is uh, approval of the minutes from our last council meeting. Alder Person Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to approve. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, next is public forum. There is no one this evening. Thank you. Next, move on to Mayor's announcements. I'd like to um, call forward uh, Jackie Baumgart. Tonight we have a proclamation for foster care month. Whereas the children are key in our state, in our community's future and success and prosperity and quality of life. And whereas children have a right to thrive, learn and grow, all children deserve a loving, nurturing and safe home. And whereas foster parents provide care, security, stability for children and teens in foster care whose parents need the time to learn new skills and become the parents that their kids need to be. And whereas approximately 8,000 children across the state of Wisconsin are currently out of home care. And whereas Wisconsin is experiencing a shortage of foster families and is in need of families willing to care for teens, children with behavioral problems and mental health needs, and children with medical fragile conditions or in sibling groups. And whereas we must recognize the importance and role that foster parents play in caring for children who have experienced abuse and neglect, specifically the 757 children who, uh, who were possible victims of maltreatment in Sheboygan County last year. And whereas we must recognize the importance that uh, foster parents play in supporting family reunification and building strong communities. And whereas we all play a role in ensuring that all children in the Sheboygan community and across Wisconsin are healthy and safe and are able to reach their full potential. Now, therefore, I, Mike Vandersteen, Mayor of the City of Sheboygan, do hereby proclaim May 19th as Foster Care Month in the City of Sheboygan and join with all of those involved in the foster care system to thank individuals and families that provide support, affection, love, and security to the children in their care, as well as the organizations that support foster families. And I'd like to present this to Jackie and ask her if she has a few words about their activities. Thank you, Mayor Vandersteen. Foundations Health and Wholeness is proud to be a member of the Sheboygan community. As the mayor said, my name is Jackie Bumgart and I am the Sheboygan Foster Care Regional Director. We are relatively new to the community, having just opened our office on North Taylor Drive in December. So you may have seen our foster parents needed yard signs and have been wondering what they're about. I'm excited to tell you about our organization and what those signs are about. We are a nonprofit that provides mental health counseling as well as foster care services. Our main headquarters is in Green Bay where our counseling clinic is and we have four foster care offices. We have one in the Milwaukee area, one in the Green Bay area, one in the Fox Valley and our office 
here in Sheboygan, which serves the Lakeshore area. Our office works closely with Sheboygan and other counties throughout the state to license and train foster families, find placement for children needing foster care, and then working closely with foster families. We are all about family. We know every child deserves a loving home. We need foster parents in our community who are willing to open their home and hearts to provide love, guidance, and hope to these children so they can feel secure and thrive. Our sense of family goes beyond the one created with the foster parent and the child. Our foster families become a part of our larger foundation's family. We are grateful, thankful, and blessed with our family of foster parents, and we'd love for more people in our community to become foster families and join our family. We understand that not everyone is in a place in their lives where they are able to foster, and if not, we hope you can help support us by spreading awareness of the need for foster parents in our area. We are having an open house tomorrow night at our office from 4.30 to 6.30. I invite all of you to attend. Please bring a friend, a family member, or your own kids. Um, and come and find out more about foundations, about fostering, and or about other opportunities to support us. I did bring flyers for our open house, um, which I'll leave for you to pick up or share. Thank you for the opportunity to let me share a bit about foundations, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you. This coming weekend on, uh, on, on Saturday the 25th at noon, the new beer garden will be hosting their grand opening at Kiwanis Park. This authentic German beer garden is going to be a, is in a beautiful setting along the Sheboygan River. They'll be uh, serving beverages uh, or a glass of wine. Um, they'll be having a special music entertainment by the Waltzmeisters. And uh, curbside foods will be provided by Flex uh, um, Truck. And they'll also be serving giant pretzels and cheese curds along with the beverages. And then this uh, weekend, uh, just after the weekend on Monday, is our Memorial Day observance. Uh, first of all, Sheboygan's Memorial Day celebration is a collaboration between the United States veterans in Sheboygan, active duty personnel, the City of Sheboygan, and the Kohler Credit Union. The parade will be held on Monday, May 27th um, in downtown Sheboygan starting at 9 o'clock on A Street, and then a ceremony will follow at Fountain Park. And then we'll also be having the 12th annual Lao Mung and American Veterans Memorial Celebration at the Land Park, and that program will begin at 1130. So I hope everybody comes out to help say thank you to our veterans and support uh, these uh, special events. Thank you. Next, we'll go on to items in the consent agenda. That'll include items 2.2 through 2.13. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file all our O's, accept and adopt all our C's, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on any of the items in the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Nice. Motion passes. Under reports of officers, item 3.1 is RO number 19 of 1920 by the Capital Improvements Commission to whom was referred direct referral RO number 1 of 1920 by the City Administrator Daryl Hoffland submitting the Capital Improvements Program request for years 2020 through 2024. It recommends filing the document with the amended Capital Improvements Program. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file as amended. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item 3.2 will lay over. 
Items 3.3 .3 and 3.4 will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, items 4.1 through 4.18 will be referred to various committees. Section 5, reports of committees. Item 5.1 is RC number 16 of 1920 by the Finance and Personnel Committee. Tumors referred direct referral uh, number RO number 17 of 1920 by the City Administrator Daryl Hofflin submitting the 2020 preliminary budget and fiscal factors for guidance um, prior to the departmental budget preparations and recommends filing the document as amended. Alder Person Donahue. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, would the clerk please call the roll? Ten eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is RC number 17 of 1920 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 12 of 1920 by all the persons Donna Hugh and Boren, authorizing the appropriate city <coughs> officials to execute a purchase and sale agreement for the purchase of the land from the Union Pacific Railroad Company and recommends approving the resolution. All the person Donahue. <coughs> Okay. Thank you for that, uh, that motion. Um, there was an amendment that was made along with that. I'll take that as a separate item. So we have a, uh, an amendment that was made to the, uh, the, the documents that were presented. Is there any discussion on that amendment? Seeing none, all those in favor of the amendment, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Thank you. Then on the amended motion that's before us, is there any <clears throat> further discussion? Seeing none, and then, then that will need to have a roll call vote. Nice. Motion passes. Item 5.3 is RC number 18 of 1920 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred resolution number 13 of 1920 by all the persons Donahue and Boren approving the fiscal year 2019 one year annual action plan for the Community Development Block Grant CBB, CDBG program submission and recommends approving the resolution with amended disbursements. Alder Person Donahue. Uh, thank, you. <coughs> thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion. Seeing no discussion, would the clerk please call the roll? Ten eyes. <coughs> motion passes. Under matters laid over, item 6.1 is resolution number 5 of 1920 by Alderperson Wolf officially recognizing the Memorial Neighborhood Association. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to pass the resolution. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nice. Motion passes. Item 6.2 is resolution number 6 of 1920 by all the persons Wolf and Donahue authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute the creation and grant of covenants by the city of Sheboygan to the United States Army Corps of Engineers regarding outlot number one uh, in the Sheboygan Business Center. 
Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to pass the resolution. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Ten eyes. Motion passes. For other matters, we'll turn it over to City Attorney Charles Adams. 7.1 <coughs> is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for periods ending December 31, 2019, June 30, 2020, and June 30, 2021. That will be referred to licensing hearings and public safety committee. 7.2 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the periods ending June 30, 2019, December 31, 2019, June 30, 2020, and June 30, 2021. That will also be referred to licensing hearings and public safety committee. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adjourn. Thank you for that motion and support. All in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time tonight. That's right.